Hello, I'm Sketches and Scrubs. Thank you for tuning into this video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful floral Christmas card, which may look complex, but is actually surprisingly quick to do. And you could get it done under 10 minutes with beginner skills and just some simple supplies. This is part one of my videos, so be sure to check out the rest to see other cards that you can make as well. The supplies you'll need are a piece of watercolor paper, watercolor paint, a brush, a pencil and a palette. I'll link all the supplies and where you can find them down below. To get things started we're going to draw a nice loose circle on the piece of paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I like to pre-wet the paper and this is the area where I'm going to start off by doing the flowers, in this case roses. So I've got this really nice red and to paint the roses I just do a dot and then light semicircles all around it. Again the beauty of this card is that it doesn't have to be perfect so just loose strokes across the paper to kind of give the essence of a rose and I promise it will look like a rose when it gets towards the end. One of the reasons that I love this card is because it has such beautiful results and it looks harder, it looks complicated, but as you can see, I'm just doing small semicircle like strokes to go around. And then I do the same again to make a smaller rose. I decide to do another rose at three o'clock, same pattern, just a dot, then semicircles around. And at this point, I decide that I kind of want to switch things up a little bit and do a five petal flower instead, just to add. Uh, a little bit of dynamic and I do the same on the other side and again it, I don't like it to look too symmetrical because the point of it is that it's supposed to somewhat resemble nature and nature isn't perfectly symmetrical anyway so at this point I add a bit of blue to the red to just make it a bit darker and to give a bit of contrast and put shadows on the flowers. As you may have gathered, I'm a hobby artist, so I'm not professionally trained, but I've been making cards for a little while and after I saw how happy people were to receive them, I just couldn't really stop. Tell me down below in the comments what prompted you to start making your own cards. So now in the card, we're going to start making the leaves. So there's two ways that you can do it. You can draw an outline and then fill it in, or you can just use the body, like the shape of the brush to make the leaf. And essentially you keep doing this loosely following the shape of the semicircle or the circle that you drew in pencil at the beginning. And you make leaves of different sizes, different shapes, different colors, just to add some good variety to your, um, I guess essentially a floral wreath that you're making. Now, I'm not going to have the top of the flowers connecting, so it's not going to be a full wreath. So I'm not going to go all the way in, but essentially when I'm doing the leaves that are inside the circle, I point the leaves inwards. And when I'm doing leaves that are outside the circle, I point them outwards, all going towards the top um, of the semicircle. And I don't fill in all the gaps because I want to add some more Christmassy elements to it so lots of leaves lots of different colors lots of different shapes with some space in between that if I need to fill in I'll fill in at the end if you're enjoying the video so far don't forget to like and subscribe thank you since green comes from blue and yellow I find that the way that I get different shades or different tones of the green is to either add my different blues to add my different yellows to either make them lighter or darker depending on what I want um, but essentially adding different amounts of those colors to either a pre-existing green or mixing my own green to get lighter and darker shades um, greens that are closer to blues greens that are closer to yellows and that's just to add some diversity to the card um, and to add some depth now for this bit I kind of want to add cones so I make brown and then I start doing it kind of like um, C's or little bowls facing upwards one under the other with a little bit of gap in between so that you can kind of see that they're separate entities and again it doesn't have to be perfect just the essence of it lets you know exactly what it is really and that's why um, I left some spaces between the leaves so that I could add these extra details. Now I'm going to make a really dark green by adding some blue. And I just want to do 
little pines I think they they're called I'll, I'll have to find <laughs> find out what they're called down below but essentially by doing a straight line in the middle and then little needles either side kind of like the Christmas tree elements and again I'm just going to put that all around um, different parts of the half reef or semi reef I'm not sure if that's a real name and just to show you a bit close up Again, a line down the middle and then small lines either side to just represent the needles. A line down the middle and then small strokes either side. Even more leaves um, to just make it really full. Make a bit of a darker red to add even more details to the flowers. Now, I one of my favourite bits, and you'll notice this in a lot of my cards, I start adding red dots for the Christmas berries. Groups of two, groups of three, groups of four, either side of the wreath. All the card needs to be complete is a Merry Christmas or whatever greeting you would like in the middle. I chose to gold emboss this. Let me know if that's something that you guys would like to learn. It's a new technique that I've just found and it's revolutionised my card making. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested then I'll make a tutorial. Also remember that the link for the materials that you may need are listed down below. And that completes the Christmas card in under 10 minutes. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that those that you give the card to enjoy it and appreciate it too. Please remember that this is part one and there's going to be another Christmas card video to show you a different style and I'll put a little sneak peek of that. Please feel free to message me on Instagram and to show me the versions of your card that you make. I'm really excited to see what some of your designs are. And if you haven't already done so, that shameless plug we've all been waiting for, please like, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you thought, get in touch. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. And last but not least, I hope you and your family and your loved ones have a very, very Merry Christmas. God bless you.